Paris is one of the most popular cities in the entire world. It's the sort of place people romanticize in their minds and dream of eventually visiting. And while most people will undoubtedly plan to spend at least a few days exploring Paris, I realize there are other times when you might be tacking Paris onto another trip, or perhaps including it in a whirlwind tour of Europe. If you want to see the best places as much as possible, then you need to know that there are options out there to help you experience the best of Paris. If I had to select 10 places, here are the ones we would recommend you to visit in Paris. Go ahead and fall in love. 1. Eiffel Tower What would Paris be without its symbolic Eiffel Tower? Built by Gustave Eiffel to commemorate the centenary of the French Revolution, it is presented at the Exposition Universelle in Paris in 1889. 324 meters high, it is one of the most visited monuments in the world with nearly 7 million visitors a year. The first floor houses the Eiffel Tower 58 which extends over two levels, 58 meters above the ground as its name suggests. On the second floor, the view is the best at 115 meters because you have a diving view on the ground below. Finally on the third floor at 275 meters, you can see what the office of Gustav Eiffel was. For the more adventurous one, it is possible to use the stairs and climb the steps, 1665 to the summit. The ascent of the Eiffel Tower is a must to enjoy the magnificent view of Paris. Two, Notre Dame Cathedral. One of the most enduring symbols of Paris, Notre Dame de Paris, also known as Notre Dame, a Roman Catholic cathedral is located on the eastern half of the Isle de la Cite. It is widely considered one of the finest examples of French Gothic architecture in France and Europe. Begun in 1163 and completed in 1345, this cathedral is a site with its portals surrounded by his many sculptures and gargoyles that adorn the roof. We advise you to walk around the cathedral, then go inside and climb the 387 steps to the top of the towers. The climb to the top of the towers can be exhausting, but you will get a panoramic view of the region and see the famous gargoyles up close. 3. Louvre Museum The Louvre is the most visited art museum in the world. Located in the heart of Paris, this historic building is a former royal palace, with an area of 210,000 square meters including 60,600 for the exhibitions. The museum is housed in the Louvre, originally a fortress built in the late 12th century under Philip II. The remains of the fortress are visible in the basement of the museum. The collection is divided into eight departments. Egyptian Antiquities Oriental Antiquities Greek, Etruscan, and Roman Islamic Art Sculptures of the Middle Ages, Renaissance, and Modern Times Objects of Art Paintings Graphic Arts Or Champs-Élysées, or Arc of Triumph under the spell of ancient Roman architecture, Napoleon commissioned Jean Chalgrin the design of a triumphal arch dedicated to the glory of imperial armies. Built in the 19th century, it is the largest monument of its kind in the world. Impressive sculptures adorn its pillars. In addition, the names of 558 generals and the great victories are engraved on the top of the ark. Under the Arc de Triomphe is the tomb of the unknown soldier of France. The panoramic terrace above the door offers a beautiful view of Paris. 50 meters high, 45 meters wide and 22 meters deep, the Arc de Triomphe is located on the Place de la Toile which leads to the Champs-Élysées which is nicknamed the most beautiful avenue in the world. It stands on 1.9 kilometers between Place de la Concorde and the Arc de Triomphe. There are many luxury boutiques, Louis Vuitton, Cartier, Guerlain, Montblanc, places of entertainment, Lido, cinemas, famous cafes and restaurants, Fouquet's.
5. Cruise on the Seine Find the best way to visit the City of Light, enjoying a cruise on the Seine, especially at night. When the sun sets, the monuments are lit slowly. You get a panoramic view to the forefront so you can enjoy the beauty of Paris, Eiffel Tower, Notre Dame, Pont Alexander III and many more. You can also enjoy a dinner cruise on the Seine aboard a boat. For about two hours, you are welcomed. 6. Montmartre Montmartre is a hill located in the north of Paris, 130 meters high, having its name to the surrounding neighborhood. It is best known for the white-domed Basilica of the Sacred Heart at the top. It was completed in 1919 and honors the French victims of the Franco-Prussian War of 1870. If you're in the area, do visit the Square of Tertry, few blocks from the Basilica. There are many artists setting up their easels to paint tourists or exhibit their work. Place du Tertre is a reminder of the time when Montmartre was the hub of modern art in the early 20th century. Many artists such as Amadeo Modigliani, Claude Monet, Pablo Picasso and Vincent van Gogh worked there. The East Bay Salvador Dali, a museum dedicated primarily to sculpture and drawings of the Spanish painter, can be found a few steps from the square of Tertre. The famous cabaret Moulin Rouge is located in Montmartre. 7. Palace of Versailles The Chateau de Versailles is the most famous castle in France. Built in the 17th century as a symbol of military power of France and as a demonstration of French supremacy in Europe, Versailles was the seat of political power in the Kingdom of France from 1682 to 1789. This huge complex of buildings, gardens and terraces is definitely a must for any visitor who will be captivated by exceptional accommodations, lavish decorations, furniture and gilded works of Renaissance art. Visit Versailles, you will start by the state apartments and the famous Hall of Mirrors, the Queen's Chamber. Do not forget to stroll through the famous French gardens. 8. The Latin Quarter, Luxembourg Park the Latin Quarter of Paris is located on the left bank of the Seine, around the Sorbonne. Known for its student life, lively atmosphere, and bistros, the Latin Quarter is the home to many higher education institutions, such as the École Normale Supérieure, the École de Mines de Paris, or the École Polytechnique. The area takes its name from the Latin language, which was once widespread in and around the university since Latin was the international language of learning in the Middle Ages. The Luxembourg Park is a private garden open to the public created in 1612 at the request of Marie de Medicis to accompany the Luxembourg Palace. The Parisians affectionately call it the Lucco. The garden surrounds the Palais du Luxembourg, where the Senate seats. Redesigned by André Lenotre, it is very pleasant to walk around. You will also find an orchard, several varieties of apples, an apiary and a greenhouse with orchid collection. There are 106 statues, a bronze reduction of the Statue of Liberty, and three beautiful fountains. 9. Moulin Rouge The Moulin Rouge is a cabaret known as the spiritual birthplace of the famous French Cancan. Located at the foot of Montmartre Hill in the heart of Pigalle, it was built in 1889 by Joseph Aller and Charles Seidler. Initially introduced as a courtship dance, the Cancan made possible the birth of the cabaret, now present in many countries around the world. Today, the Moulin Rouge is a tourist attraction, providing entertainment for visitors from around the world. Its style and its name have been imitated and borrowed from other nightclubs around the world, Las Vegas, for example.